Welcome back friends. Let's learn some more fundamentals. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how we calculate the gap score and how this is required to calculate max score for blast tool or software. I hope you are enjoying my videos. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. Although in the blast results table, max score and total scores are given, but to understand what is a gap, how gap scores are calculated using a formula and how max and total scores are calculated by BLAST, it's what we are going to learn in this video with the help of examples. Let's begin by understanding what a gap in a sequence is and how its score is calculated. BLAST works by aligning two sequences locally. They both could be nucleotide sequences or amino acid sequences depending on which BLAST application you have chosen. BLAST compares both sequences and if both strings of sequences have exactly same or identical nucleotide bases or residues, then it scores them highly due to a match like this. Here in this example, I'm using a string of alphabets rather than nucleotide sequences. Using a DNA identity matrix, we can assign a value of 1 to each match. Hence, the score for this alignment will be 14. If any base in two sequences does not match, then it is considered a mismatch, like here. If every mismatch here is assigned a value of 0 or a negative value, the score will be very low. Now, keeping in mind that the DNA or protein sequences are from living organisms and they undergo evolution, the sequences can differ due to various mutations like in this example. The mutations like insertions or deletions in the DNA sequence can change the sequence of one species compared to another. This is crucial as due to these indel, which is short for insertion deletion events, variations accumulate and give rise to new species. Now, if we check here carefully, few alphabets are identical in both sequences. I have color coded them for the sake of convenience. In sequence 1, E and K are present which are absent in sequence 2. This means either sequence 1 received additional bases E and K which were originally not there in both the sequences. It may be an insertional event in sequence 1 during evolutionary process or sequence 2 originally had E and K but lost it due to deletion mutations during evolution. We don't know what exactly might have happened. Due to these indel events, now the two sequences are not identical. BLAST has a way to account for these indel events. It will not consider this part as a mismatch and give a very negative overall score. Rather, it will introduce a null or space into the second sequence to account for a gap like this. The process of introducing a gap therefore represents insertion or deletions during evolutionary processes. Now the important point is how these gaps add to the max score calculation by BLAST. We do have a BLAST scoring matrix as well as BLAST uses different values to calculate the comparison scores which you can see here. These values can be seen under additional algorithm parameters on BLAST page and can be chosen if we have a certain requirement, else we just leave them to default settings. Also in the same section we see gap penalty values. Presence of gap in a sequence compared to another receives a negative score called gap cost or penalty. There are two values for gap existence and for gap extension. Gap existence means the introduction of a gap for which a given fixed value is deducted from the alignment score. We consider this value as A in gap penalty calculation formula. Gap extension means that there is more than one base or one residue which are missing in a gap. The extension value is B in this formula and how many bases or residues are missing in a gap receives a value of N. 
Hence, a gap can be calculated by placing fixed values of A, B and N in the formula A plus B N and we can calculate the gap penalty. Let us see this example of pairwise alignment of two nucleotide sequences. There are two places in sequence 2 which show gaps. Both gap locations are independent of each other and indicate towards two different indel events. We have to therefore calculate the gap penalty twice. We can use the formula using the values for A and B. We take these values from BLAST additional parameters. The default penalty for the presence of or existence of a gap or A value are 5 for BLAST N which is nucleotide to nucleotide alignment and 11 for BLAST P which is protein to protein alignment. Whereas the default penalty for extension of a gap or B value if for BLAST N it is 2 and for BLAST P it is 1. Note that the value of gap extension is less than the value of gap existence. Why? Because a single mutational event may cause the insertion of deletion of more than one base or residue and the presence of existence of a gap is therefore given more significance than the length of the gap. Hence, the mere presence of gap is penalized heavily whereas a lesser gap extension penalty value is assigned to each subsequent base or residue in the gap. Value of n is taken by the given number of gaps. In our example, there are two independent gap events, one with an n value of 1 and another with n value of 2. Since our sequences are nucleotide and BLAST n is being used, we will use value of A as 5 and value of B as 2. Now let's calculate the gap score for our example. It's 7 for the single gap and 9 for the two base gap. How do we adjust gap scores in max score calculated by BLAST? BLAST calculates max score by taking into account three things matches as shown by vertical lines between two sequences, mismatches and gaps. For our example, matches will be assigned a positive score of 5 each, mismatches will be assigned a negative score of 4 each and for the gaps we have already done the calculations. Hence, for 16 matches the score is 80, for 2 mismatches the score is minus 8. Now we will use this formula and place all values. Our max score is 56. A max score is the score of single best aligned sequence whereas the total score is the sum of scores of all aligned sequences which can be 2 or more than 2. I have explained these two scores and their calculation in my earlier videos on BLAST N and BLAST P. Links for these videos have been given in the description. Please watch. Hope you understood and liked this information. In my next video, I will be discussing about the Blossom 62 matrix used by BLAST to calculate protein sequence max scores and we will also learn how to calculate gap scores for protein sequence. Thanks very much. See you soon.